welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie, CEO of A. Marie Beauty Bar, soon to come to you all. So I'm just giving you guys a little behind the scenes of the things that I've been working on. And I didn't know how to do like one of those day in a life type of videos um, when I haven't relaunched the new brand yet. So I was like, you know what? I got that idea of showing, of wanting to show you guys all of the testers and things like that inventory, small inventory that I was getting in and trying out before my rebrand. So that's what this is. I decided to reach out to the to a vendor to test out some new and improved highlighters. So this was my sample highlighter and no, I didn't get it um, logoed or anything like that. I just wanted to test out the, the quality of the highlighter and I could go ahead and spoil it right now. I wasn't too, uh, I wasn't a fan of the highlighter. You see how it's like more glittery than you know a glow it was just yeah it was a little bit more glittery than what i expected but i like the package so just to let you guys know that won't be coming to, <laughs> it won't be coming to the brand so here is another day another day y'all my tongue gets tired a whole lot and i'm not no pro at these voiceovers but here is another day that I wanted to show you guys the charms that I got. I've been purchasing little charms here and there just to start making my bangles because no, I'm not a bangle business, but I did want to add accessories to my business and I absolutely have fell in love with making the bangles. So I've been buying little sets of charms here and there and this day i just wanted to show you guys the type of charms that i did excuse me that i did order and this little container set that i'm about to show you guys is a container set that my mom got for me so i put all the charms in there so when it come down to the charms um i just bought them from random places so, and I bought, intentionally bought a lot of them that were a mixed to begin with. So, I can get my creative juices flowing. If I got a mixture of charms, then hey, I can make something out of it. And I did really, really, really love these dice. So, I did give me two sets of them or whatever. So, I also did get some charms like the gold charms and the hard charms and not just the uh is it called resin charms like the softer ones so here is a mixture of like what i said the hard charms the gold ones with actual charms on them i will be having mixture charms with the resins and the gold ones and um i will have like some that's just the hard charms just the resin charms stuff like that like i said i'm not no bangle business but you guys this charm thing is really 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 cute and i really like it i like wearing the bangles and i know a lot of people have daughters guard daughters nieces you know your best friend child stuff like that that anybody could wear and the bangles is popping so why not get on that bandwagon and trend and you know add my little bedazzle into it and offer it to you guys you know what i mean so this mixed bag right here is the candies which I absolutely enjoy and I am going to get more because the chocolates, the candies, those type of uh, charms have like, they're so cute. And I have so many in my wish list slash cart that I just can't wait. But I did tell my twin and myself that I was not about to go overboard with charms and lashes and things like that because of the simple fact with amb lavish i went overboard 
overkill and I didn't market right. I didn't advertise and I was left with a lot of AMD lavish stuff. So a Marie Beauty Bar, we're not going overboard. We're going to try to sell the things that we are offering before we go and purchase more things, if you get what I mean. That was one of the lessons I learned. I bought and bought and bought and bought and bought, and I ended up giving a lot of AMB lavish stuff away. All right, so this clip today, this day, let me not say this clip. This day, my eyebrow pencils came in, you guys. I had been testing a lot of eyebrow pencils out from vendors and I forgot to show those on camera. So the ones that I did decide to go with are these that you're seeing. So we have 06, which is a, a, a darker brown. And then we have, I think 01 is the next one. Let me see. Yeah, 01 is the black brown, which is the darkest. And then 05, which is that last one, it's going to be the lightest brown. I only went with three shades this time, or I went with three shades to start off with, and I didn't purchase a lot. But you guys, I really like these brow pencils. I've been using them on my clients, and I've been using them on myself before I even tell you guys, before I even was able to tell you guys what it was. And mm, I love them. I love them. And here's all my ingredients that I got put on the back of the packaging now the only problem with this packaging is that vendor only came with white boxes and my brand is really the black holographic and pink but i was like you know what the white could be a little accent so some of my packaging some only some of my packaging will come with the white packaging um but I took that as like an extra accent to my brand. But everything else is going to be the black, pink, and holographic. So you guys could just watch me put all my brow pencils together. And I'll see y'all in the next clip. I don't, know, I don't know what else to say besides I love these brow pencils. Oh, they're retractable and on one end is the brow pencil and on the other end it came with the spoolie attached. These are like the micro brow pencils. Excuse me, which I'm not too much of a fan of a micro brow pencil, but when I tested these from the vendor, they actually were really good. So I was like, I could do these. I could do these and I could sell these. And they're not like too little for you to get a full brow full sculpted brow no they come off with enough pigment and with any micro brow pencil you have to put in a little bit extra work if you don't want like everyday brows but they are good okay they are good okay so right here same day i was sitting here i'm sending two air quotation PR boxes out so far and I was sitting there trying to figure out how do I put them together I just needed to see it so the A. Marie Beauty Bar lash boxes that you see on the bottom y'all those are really the AMB lash uh, AMB lavish um lash style girl boxes baby we revamped those okay we peeled all that off and we revamped those it, oh my god so glad my next door neighbor was able to get that writing off the last one and me to remake it and i made the labeling the logo myself we do have some sets like that we're putting together and i'm just trying to see like what all will fit in the box you guys won't see me package the pr boxes in this video but i'm gonna make it its own video of how i package it and make it look real cute so I was just laying it out. One is going to my twin and the other one is going to Platinum D here on YouTube because she supports me 
all the way. She supported me from the beginning, as well as my twin supported me from the beginning. So they are going to get PR packages. You know what I mean? And then this day, so what I'm showing you guys is the body oils I decided to make. So we're going to have a two ounce body oil and we're going to have a four ounce body oil. I'm thinking about an eight ounce, but I think more so the eight ounce body oils, body scrubs, and body butters. And possibly, I'm going to let y'all in on a little secret, possibly body lotion will all be a gift set, only the eight ounces. Let me know what y'all think or should I do all sizes as a bundle deal so here are some serums that i redid i went back to the drawing board on my growth serum for your eyebrows and your eyelashes but back to what i was talking about since this video going by so fast um let me know if i should do the skincare a bundle or leave them separate and only have one size as a bundle let me know y'all thoughts So now fast forwarding back to this part, you guys, I bought all new lash cases, the soft packs, as well as the acrylic packs. And I did my logo with my Cricut Explore Air. What, what? I did. It's the Cricut Explore Air 2 that I got for, it was either Mother's Day or my birthday. My mom and my wife got it for me. And I was really trying to figure out what I was going to do with it because I really wasn't into it not into it but i just didn't know what to do with it and after youtube and a lot of cricket projects <laughs> girl i came up with that and i made my own label logos on my packaging now these are going to be the pretty packs and i'm just showing you guys really quickly and y'all gotta wait for another behind behind the scenes day in my life to see what those pretty packs come out like so on this day, you guys, I just felt like making bangles. Like, I just felt like making bangles. And I wanted to make quite a few for the relaunch slash launch of a Marie Beauty Bar. And I wanted to make different sets, mixture sets, stackable st uh, sets, and stuff like that. So, boom, here we are. Do y'all see all those gorgeous bangles? Oh my God, I did so good. Y'all got to follow me on Instagram. When I say follow me on Instagram, scan that QR code that's showing up on your screen right now and go follow me. I will have on that QR code right there, it has every bit of my links, my YouTube, my business, my YouTube, Instagram, um, my Etsy business. It has it all there. Okay. Y'all go follow me because these bangles came out bomb warm okay so i'm showing you on here which bangle uh which pieces which charms is gonna go on that particular bangle that i am putting together right now um if you guys would like to see me um if you guys would like to see how i make my bangles in like detailed and slow and actually showing you guys instead of it being sped up like this let your girl know down below in the comment section and don't forget to like comment subscribe click the notification notification the notification and go ahead and comment hashtag notification on point so that you'll be featured in the next upcoming video as the top three comments and let your girl know that you want a bangle video because i could do it i really y'all this is so therapeutic to me it's some things that has been going on behind the scenes with me personally, health-wise, that I haven't been ready to share yet. But once I do share that story, you guys are going to understand why this portion of the video you're watching right now is so therapeutic to me and so common. Okay? Um, I'm almost ready to talk, but I'm not there yet. I had a life-changing situation happen with me like dramatic traumatic life-changing okay so doing this part right here just sitting in my bed making bangles and creating was so it, it it got my mind off a lot of things 
but if you guys would like an in-depth video or a actual slowdown video let your girl know because I can do it for you guys once again I'm back to doing YouTube I am really trying to push myself everything will make sense once that life-changing video comes out everything will make sense to you guys but right now I'm just not there yet I'm not there to tell the world because I don't know how many people in my real life that I actually know watches me and with what happened to me I did not share with anybody besides my close knit like anybody that's in my circle that's the only people that know so once I do tell it and it comes out I don't know how many people that I do know in real life that is going to be like, oh my God, why you didn't tell me or oh my God, you could have called me type of ordeal. I don't, I don't know. And I'm just not, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet to just like have to answer all those questions. So this last bangle that I'm making right here, y'all, that is my absolute favorite one. Like, I want to go and get every last charm that I put on this bangle and remake it for myself. The good thing about my charms, look at that. That's right. I am green on a rainbow bangle. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But the good thing about my, char my bangles is nobody, whichever bangle you buy, whichever one you order, nobody else is going to have it because I only made one of each bangle and I don't want to remake them. I want them to be unique every single time. Now, what I do want to do is get a charm made with my logo on it and add it to every bangle so that any and everybody will know where they came from. But none of them will be duplicates, like none of them at all. So hopefully you guys enjoy watching this day in the life behind the scenes-ish type of entrepreneur vlog. Um, I know it's a voiceover, but you guys, I'm here for it. Let me know if y'all want to see more because I can show y'all more behind the scenes. And be on the lookout for a Marie Beauty Bar launching because she's coming, okay? I'll talk to you guys later. Zeus is...